All right. Gonna save you, save. Gonna be great. On to file four. Various fish origami has been put here for decoration. Well, you know what I want to do? What? Did you make all of these, Yui? God's head. <laughs> you really have a skill for it, Amis. I want to make some fish origami now. A clown doll with free construction written on it. Maybe due to the rain, it's gotten all wet and soppy. You know what, Yui? Throw that away. Yui, throw the clown away. No one wants that photos of Yui put here for decoration. Beside her is her mother and her grandfather, probably. All right. Making progress. Exclamation. Uh. I sense pleasant smell of agamono. Oh, red. Oh, no. What's that mean? What is that? No. Yui. What the hell? What the? Frick, can I do anything? Let me do something. Dots, Yui. You're dying. Clown doll, free construction. Kill it. Destroy it. Destroy the clown doll. God. Mm, mm, mm. There's something strange with Yui. Destroy the clown doll. God. For sure, got me put up for decoration. Maybe I can push her. I need to push her back onto the bed. I guess I can't do that. What the hell? Put her over here beside her mother, probably. Probably get it over. Nards, 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 nards. Dots. I'll be going on ahead, okay? Don't die on me. Don't die on me. Just, just don't. Wait, so she's like turning blue and she just doesn't give a ding dong care. She's just like, oh. Yui's dying. That's so cute. What? It's so much food! Um, I'm very thankful, but... There's something a little strange with Yui. Yui... Doesn't quite seem to want to come here. Does she... Eh? Uh, yes, then I'll first... First what? Eat? Don't do it. Don't eat anything. What? What kind of command is that? Oh, uh, you know what? You know what? I'm not gonna eat anything. I'm not gonna eat anything. I mean, if you're not- if you're gonna let your daughter sit there and... Uh, just- just... um... Yui's father has already passed away, hasn't he? It'd be great if Yui were able to wake up soon, wouldn't it? Um, if you have no objections, could you tell me why Yui is in a coma? Akane san, thank you. For taking Yui all the way here. Thank you for enabling Yui's life to continue on forward. Wait, did 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 she just pull a bastard move and lock me in a coma? Cause I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be pissed if that's what you did. Can you call Yui over here for me? I guess. I guess, but I'm not. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. I just don't! I don't! You see? Understand? Yui! Are you okay? Yui, what is the matter, really? Something's strange with you. And I just picked you up. Alright. Alright, miss. We're going. Oh! Shh! Hebrolanks! The smothering mother Akane san It was all my fault. Oh crap, get out of there, lady! Yui Get I'm so sorry. <sighs> no I'm sorry. We get your sorry! What the hell are you doing? Oh shillings! Oh fire! Who oh, burn baby burn! Just go and burn oh fire! How? 
This girl is on fire! Oh, two, oh, one, oh, fire! Oh. <laughs> oh, crap, I'll be back. And so we return to the burning hell of Hell's Kitchen. Welcome, new contestants. Are you ready? Are you prepared to make the finest of all dinners in this burning heat with a child in your arms? That's what I thought. You're going to beat the hell away from this damn place because it is not good for your health. So let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, well, that's it. All right, Yui. If this is a dream, if this is a dream, then wake up already. Ah! What? Yui. Okay. Are we entering a third dream world? Because I didn't like the second one, this better be more like the first one. Either that or incorporate even crazier horror elements. Because I rather enjoy those. We're on the moon! This is Mount Moon. This is great. Look at it. It's so peaceful and blue and... After being rescued from the fire in her residence, a room in the apartment complex, she was transported to the hospital. Wait, did I miss something up here then? Let's check. Oh, yep, up here. Narumi Yui, in a coma due to carbon monoxide poisoning. Anything else, anything else, anything else? Okay. Okay, I see. Oh, okay, up here. Diagnostic record. Oh, wait, what? Okay, that's the thing that we read a while back. And if we go down here, we're going to figure out everything there is about a Yui situation after being rescued. Okay. What? Okay. Floating child. Okay, Yui. I'm coming for you. It's all gonna be okay. Yui. Yui, it's great. It's fine. I trust that you will not drown as long as I have you. You shall not. Yui. I'm sorry. What? We've returned? What? She just... Um... 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 Over here, darkness. Over up here. What's supposedly a nice and cozy place? The light? I prefer the light. It won't open. Is it going to turn us into the darkness? I, I would not appreciate it. It won't open. I would not appreciate it if it threw us into the darkness. This better not open either. Okay, good. Wait, but there's an actual path going down there. So that probably means that we're going to be forced to go over there either way. I don't know. I don't trust it. Will the dolphins console me? Will the Council of Dolphins... Please tell me something. Uh. Femory? So you were alright? Uh, you flickered. Yui! Yui, look! We're going insane! See? It's all good! Oh? It might perhaps be thinking of you also as its own child. Mm. <laughs> Just like parent and child. And they go. What the hell does... Are they gonna take her out of consciousness? Unconsciousness, I should say? Yui? 
Is this like symbolic? What you doing? Is she walking on the sky? Walking on the sunlight? Okay. Yui. Eh? I see. That's right. This is where you belong, isn't it, Yui? By being here, you won't feel lonely, will you? Yui, I guess it's about time that I get going now. I guess we have to say goodbye now. Yeah, you too. Thanks. So she is that her saying that she's going to stay in a coma? because it's it's not lonely the dark the dark path left the dark the path to the right of us oh she's crying and so yui decided to stay in her coma because she won't be lonely in her coma Well, that was Utopia, a fantasy horror adventure. And I don't know, that was just, that was a lot. It was a really interesting story and it did have its uh, extremely fascinating twists. And to say that was, that was really good. That was really good. The story was story was unique. It was touching and well, it does does what it's trying to do. I think there is a um another I I believe there's another ending. I don't know how many endings there are. If you just give me a second here, I can look over to the side. And I can see if, uh... Um, but that was one of the endings. If they're normal end, yeah, see? So... That was... That was Utopia. I... I have to say, that was really good. I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed the characters. They were lovable. It it went it went insane in the middle there, and I I almost really wish that it held held on to that insanity just for a little longer and freaked you out and truly showed you that it was a horror game. But it did it did stick to its roots and kept on to uh, the whole fantasy aspects and it did a remarkable job of that. And that was. <laughs> that was really great. I, I really did enjoy that. And if you want to play the game yourself, it will be in the description below. And, well, if you enjoyed this video as well as this amazing game, please leave a like. If you want to comment, please go ahead and do so below. And if you want to criticize on how awful I am at gaming, go ahead and subscribe. This is Lunker Studios saying adieu to you. See what I did there? That's new.